Heather Hardy is someone who has fought her entire life, both in and out the ring. Today, she's a fighter, a mother, but most importantly, an inspiration to women worldwide. Um, what's your what's your favorite Christmas memory as a child? Um, probably opening gifts for my brothers and sisters. My brother and sister. While some people are at home celebrating the holidays, you're in the gym training. Is that what it takes to become one of the best super dental um, mates in the world? Uh, probably. I mean, I I do spend time with my family, but I make sure my work is done first. What does your training regimen entail? Um. I get up early. I'm usually in the gym by 6 a.m. Um, jump rope, running, I train with my coach, sparring, strength con and conditioning. So. For anyone who's never seen a Heather Hardy fight, how would you describe your style? Uh, I'm very aggressive. Uh, I don't get tired easy. <laughs> Before you ventured into boxing, you were a kickboxing champion. How was that transition from kickboxing to boxing? Well, it's kind of tough, but easy at the same time. I was used to uh, fighting already, so just different ways. And who are some? And who are some of your influences in either sport and kickboxing and kickboxing? I would say for sure my coach Devon. He taught me everything I know, so um, I, I probably people might say I fight like him. And how would you rate the state of women boxing, like the current state? Um, I think that we are on the, the way up. Things are getting better, and I'm really excited for what next year is to And what do you and um and why do you think there's such a disparity between men's boxing and women's boxing? Well, it's because they don't allow females to fight on TV, so that's why we don't make a lot of money. When can we expect females to the first female fight to be on major like on like, Showtime pay per view? Well, we, we've made we've made some steps forward, and uh, Showtime has agreed to televise a female fight next year. So we have to just be excited for that and see if it comes. You're currently 15 and 0. Which which fight stands out to you the most? Um, I think I was probably most proud when I um I beat Lydia Feliciano over a year ago. A lot of the local people didn't think I was going to win and stuff like that. Yeah. Your last four fights was in the Play Center. How did it feel to fight in such a big time atmosphere? Um, it is exciting to be the first female to do that. And um, in terms of historically, it feels really great. But when you're fighting, you really don't know where you're fighting. So. What's your best memory of inside the world? Um, I have a lot of them, but th those are just from me. <laughs> Alright, how about your most embarrassing moment? Um, probably, probably when I got knocked down. I don't know that it really embarrassed me, but nothing is really embarrassing when I fight. It, it was kind of sucked. It was probably the worst moment in the ring when I got knocked down, but I don't know that I had an embarrassing moment. Or Hurricane Sandy. This is another obstacle that was kind of in the way of like I said to you, the first thing, I, the first question I answer is, you know, when you have a job to do, you know, whether it's a holiday or a hurricane, nothing gets in the way. How did it, how did it affect you personally? Well, it was traumatic. Just like losing my home, seeing my family, living in all different places. You're a fighter, but most importantly, a mother. How did having a child change the way that you live your life? Um. Well. You, when you don't have a child, you live for yourself. When you do have a child, everything you do is for them. I mean, working for my daughter, I don't know that I'd be as motivated to succeed as much as I am. And what's the most important thing that you want to teach your daughter as she's growing up? That she, she can take care of herself. And even the best. It's, it's, it's nice to have a big circle and when it comes down to it. If you need to, that she'll be fine on her own. That's what my mother taught me. If your daughter wakes up and, and, and says she wants to follow in your new footsteps, would you give her your blessing? Of course. And what can we expect from you in 2016 going forward? Um, 2016. 
I try not to look too much ahead, but I definitely am uh, hoping for a world title shot this year. Hopefully, you'll get next year. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God.